I'm pretty sure that the vast majority of people watching this right now will have a mobile phone, tablet, laptop, something with a battery in it, and the manufacturer will quite clearly state, don't leave it plugged in all the time. Don't constantly charge it. Having the battery at 100% all the time, it doesn't do the battery any favors. Now, this Give Energy Home battery system, it's a very different animal compared to something in a phone. You've got multiple cells, you've got battery management systems, firmware looking after things. Again, it's a different beast in comparison to the laptops and the phones and so forth. But at the end of the day, it is a battery. And like all batteries, it's good to occasionally flex their muscles, so to speak, to exercise them to use the full battery range. So what I mean by that is essentially like now, it's fully charged is mine because it's summer, I've got lots of excess solar. So every week or two, I'm going to completely deplete the battery and then charge it back up again. Naturally by solar, naturally by usage, whichever way I do it, I just need to, again, flex its muscles. Now let me be very clear, there is no warranty requirement. The 12 year industry leading warranty that the Give Energy stuff comes with isn't relying on you doing this. Don't panic if it's not convenient or you just don't want to do this. That's fine, it's your battery. Think of it like, like the doctor saying to you, I recommend you get regular exercise. We all listen to the doctor, don't we? But whether we do that exercise or not is another matter. And it doesn't mean that if you don't do the exercise that you're gonna keel over a week from seeing the doctor. It's a recommendation for optimal battery health, for promoting longevity, if you will. And when you do a full battery cycle, it also does a state of health check as well. So again, don't panic, don't worry. If you can or don't want to do this, that's fine. But if like me, you're a bit, battery nerdy and you want to make things as optimal as possible, flex its muscles, take it for a walk, take it for a, a swim, a bike ride, get it doing something. Now this is something that I have not done over the several years of owning a Give Energy battery system, long before I started working for Give Energy, and I don't know why it never occurred to me before, because in my previous IT role, I've spent years telling people, please don't leave your laptop plugged in all the time. It doesn't help. But with this, during the summer months, because there are two charging methods for batteries, for most people anyway. You've got obviously the grid, you can charge it at night as I do on a cheap nighttime tariff, for example, or the solar panels. It's like having the battery constantly plugged in. Anytime there's sun, excess solar, you are charging the battery. So during the summer months, which even in Yorkshire, we do get some of those, my battery never drops below 90%. If I looked at the graphs for the past couple of months, it's effectively just near or fully charged the entire time. And again, I don't know, I don't know why this never occurred to me, given my previous role and shouting at people, constantly leaving their tablets and phones and laptops and various other things plugged in. So now I'm going to implement this exercise regime, if you will. Every week or two, again, when it's convenient for me in terms of my tariff, or my usage of the battery, I'm just gonna let it fully deplete. Whether that's charging a car, whether that's telling it to fully discharge from the app, various methods and ways of doing this, I'm just gonna give it a good run, so to speak, because then it's doing something. It's not just sat there at 100% kind of slobbing it out. During the winter months, because we have a full electric household, everything is electric, you know, heat pump and so forth, then, well, that's why I bought these batteries. My batteries charge up at night when it's cheap, and then they discharge throughout the day to power the house using that cheap electric, which means it's getting a lot of exercise. In winter, my batteries are ripped, but in summer, they're just sat there, like they are now, fully charged, not really doing anything. Not everybody uses a time of day tariff or even has access to one. There are a lot of people out there that in winter, the batteries are sat there doing nothing because only the solar panels are charging them. And again, in winter, there's not enough solar or excess solar to actually do anything to the batteries and there's nothing going in them. So even if it's winter, whether it's summer or winter, whether it's fully discharged or fully charged, get it doing something. Every week or two, get it to do a full charge cycle just to optimize again, to, to promote that longevity. So again, this is a, if you can, if it makes sense, if it's convenient, if you want to. There are multiple ways of doing it and the one thing we are working on in the background that hopefully will be coming in the near future is a more automated way of doing this. So effectively a mode that you can turn on which 
every week or two or a schedule or whatever it ends up being it will make sure that you have done this at least once every whatever schedule you've set because then it's a fire and forget solution so we are we are working on easy ways of doing this but in the meantime there's plenty of ways of using your battery power up or forcing a discharge or just giving it some exercise so that's what this is essentially healthy living muesli for your home battery system any questions that's what the comment section are for or you can contact support of course as always so thank you for watching and i'll see you soon